uh, electric vehicles have, have always been great. There's um, a stethoscope this year that's, uh, that is a, it gives you amazing sound of, of heartbeats. You know, every year it's it's just like there's there's something amazing. Well, this is really the culmination of our senior design exercise, which all of our engineering students are required to take as part of their curriculum. And what they've had is they've had four years at least of equations and theory, and this is a chance to go out and actually build something with their hands, a project that has a definite outcome and a device that actually meets the goals that were was set about. Here we have the recumbent electric vehicle for a senior design project for UNLV. Um, we started out with a recumbent trike frame, uh, modified it to run on a deep cycle lead acid batteries. We have four of them all running 48 volts. Um, it's capable of 50 mile range on a single charge, um, top speed of 40 miles an hour, and actually to recharge it, it costs 26 cents. And so you're actually going about, or it costs you a half a cent per mile. So it's really cost efficient, it's a lot of fun to drive. I can show you right now. Being technically competent is certainly important, but that's kind of one piece of the puzzle. We're trying to get the students to be good communicators as well, which engineers have this stigma of kind of hiding in the corner and not being good communicators. And that's where we've got an electric vehicle. We want them to understand more about interacting with other elements like business, marketing. Can I really sell these for money and make a profit? Could I start a business making these things? So that's really where we're headed. We'd love to have our students take these ideas, go out in Las Vegas and start a business and become successful. It's, it's still a prototype right now. We'd like to actually put it into production if that's possible. We need to adapt a few things to make it street legal and everything. But as of now, it's a pretty good proof of concept. They're actually competing for prize money. We decided to make it a competition rather than just a a requirement to graduate, uh, provide incentives and awards and money for supporting uh, the projects. And uh, it's been very, very successful uh, since we started uh, about nine years ago. We've seen uh, the quality of these projects uh, go up exponentially. Well, what we did is a chocolate tempering device. And what a chocolate tempering device is, is it heats chocolate according to what type of chocolate it is because there's a, um, a chemistry behind each individual chocolate and it has to follow a certain temperature curve. So what, I, what our device actually does is it does that for you. So this is uh, the solar tracker. And basically we have a, it's a dish that concentrates the sun's rays into a little fiber optic cable. And then it transports it like, a, like you would like a water tube down into the building for internal lighting. Basically, it's an improvement over a regular stethoscope. It electronically amplifies, filters, digitizes the signal, displays it on a screen, records it. We call this Virtual Mommy. Um, it's actually a mobile uh, connected to our PCB board. And um, when it picks up, the baby cries. It starts, through this microphone, it starts the LEDs, uh, the mobile, and the music. Well, we're keeping our fingers crossed and hoping for some good responses. There's a lot of stiff competition, though. It'll be fun to see how everyone fares out.